James VI was born on June 19, 1566, at Edinburgh Castle in Scotland. On December 17, 1566 he was baptized, Charles James, into the Catholic religion, and as heir apparent automatically became Duke of Rothsey, Prince, and Great Steward of Scotland. The service was conducted at Stirling Castle. One of his godparents was Queen Elizabeth I. James's mother was Mary, Queen of Scots, and his father was Henry Stuart, Lord Darnley. He was an only son, but his antecedents were impeccable on both his maternal and paternal sides. Both of his parents were great-grandchildren of Henry VII, and his daughter Margaret Tudor, Henry VIII's eldest sister. James married Anne of Denmark, and together had seven children, although only three survived to adulthood, Henry Frederick, Prince of Wales, Elizabeth, and Charles, who would succeed him. James's education would have been second to none. James received a Puritan-based education. He would have been taught to read and write, mathematical skills in languages, such as Latin, French and Italian. Having no senior adult in his life, with his parents both dead, quite often he was flattered into thinking he was very knowledgeable, and was always right, when in fact this was not always the case a trait that would unfortunately cause him a few problems in the future with the English Parliament. James became King of Scotland when he was just 13 months old, with his mother Mary being forced to abdicate. She eventually fled Scotland for England, where Elizabeth I had her incarcerated until her execution. Raised in Stirling Castle by the Earl and Countess of Mar, James was brought up in the Protestant faith. Although Scotland was ruled by several regents whilst James grew up, by the age of 17, he was largely in control of his kingdom. At the age of 37 he would become King of England, in the absence of an heir to Queen Elizabeth, James was the next living relative in line to the throne, and upon Queen Elizabeth I's death in 1603, he became James I of England. James VI of Scotland and I of England would be most remembered for his being the first king of both Scotland and England, actually making him king of Scotland, England and Ireland, and ultimately Great Britain. Although he referred to himself as king of Great Britain, it was only by proclamation, and not statute. He would also be the king that managed peace between England and Spain for the longest time. Having inherited Elizabeth's realm of wealth and prosperity, he nevertheless had many confrontations with Parliament over finances. Having had his life threatened many times, and various attempts foiled, the most serious of which was from Guy Fawkes, Fawkes's attempt to not only remove the king and his family, but also the Houses of Parliament. James I was largely held in great affection by the English people. The Jacobean period, for which this would become known, was a relatively peaceful time. Having reigned over England for the better part of 22 years, his declining years saw him begin to suffer increasingly with arthritis, gout, and kidney stones. On March 27, 1625 King James I of England and VI of Scotland, died at Theobald's house. After a funeral befitting that of a king, his body was laid to rest in Westminster Abbey, in London.